Welcome to this quick video demonstration of order entry within the Meditech Expand system. Let's go ahead and place an order. We are currently in this patient's chart, sitting on the summary screen of the chart. At the top of the screen, you will see the orders button. Let's go ahead and click on this button. Clicking on the Orders button brings me into the Order Entry module. On this Order Entry screen, you will see I have the ability of selecting orders from my list of favorites over here, or I can search the catalog of orders by typing in the name of the order into this search bar here. Let's go ahead and order a CBC. I'm going to start to type in CBC into this search bar and the system after typing in the first few letters will begin to give me the available orders that meet that search criteria. Here is the CBC. I am going to go ahead and order this CBC urgent. You will notice right here it says complete bud cell count urgent that this was ordered last on May 16th. This helps so that you know that there has been a previous CBC order on the patient and when it was actually done. But we're going to go ahead and order a new CBC. I'm going to select urgent. As soon as I select the order, you'll see that it goes over into my submit box and a number one is shown that I have one order now sitting in my submit box waiting to be processed. Let's go ahead and also order some dilaudid for this patient. As I start typing the first few letters, you will see that the system brings up my options. I'm going to go ahead and select IV for IV dilaudid. I'm going to select a 0.5 milligram Q4H dose. As soon as I select this, once again, it goes to my submit box. And now the number two is there because we have two orders sitting in the box waiting for processing. If I want to change the dose of the dilaudid that I have requested to be ordered, I can select on it by clicking on this green 0.5 milligram dose and select a dose that I would like instead. This can be done for any of these items listed in green. Let's change the dose to one milligram. I've now selected one milligram IV Q4H. I'm happy with those two orders, so I'm now gonna go ahead and submit them. When I click the submit button, it will give me a summary of the orders that I have now in my basket. Here's the CBC that we've ordered urgently, and here's the dilaudid one milligram IV Q4H that we've ordered. It is asking me to enter my PIN number. By entering my PIN number, I have now electronically signed off this order. Once I hit enter, the order is now sent off to the appropriate areas where it needs to be processed and administered for medications or sent to the lab for processing. When using order entry, it is quite efficient to use order sets rather than looking up orderables separately within a catalog. The order sets also provide a list of orders that are best evidence and best practice for that particular condition. For example, you see I have some favorite order sets listed down here at the bottom. If I wanted to write some orders for a patient who's presenting with abdominal flank pain, I could order them individually up here using the search bar, but that would be very inefficient. 
by selecting the ED abdominal flank order set by clicking on it, I am presented with a list of orders that have been chosen to best treat this particular condition. Let's go ahead and give this patient a bolus of fluid. I'm going to give him a one liter bolus of normal saline. As you can see, after I've selected the one liter bolus, that order has now gone into my order submit box, waiting to be processed. After that bolus of saline, I also want to have a maintenance therapy of IV fluid. So I'm going to click on IV maintenance therapy, and I'm going to select normal saline at 125 cc's an hour. Now, I feel this patient needs a little bit more fluid than 125 cc's an hour. So I'm going to select the 125, and I'm going to increase that to 200 cc's an hour. This patient is in quite a bit of discomfort. So I'm also going to give some Ketorolac in addition to that dilaudid that I gave earlier. I can scroll down the order set and select any other orderables that I would like. You will see here that the hydromorphone is listed as one of the medications I can also select to give this patient, but it shows me right here that I have already ordered this earlier on the patient. I'm also going to give something for nausea. I'm going to select the odanzatron, four milligrams. As I move down to the laboratory section of the order set, you will see the CBC that we just ordered. And at the bottom of the screen, I have options for choosing some medical imaging, such as x-rays and CT scans, as well as some consults I can place on this patient if necessary. But I'm happy with the orders that we have placed so far, so let's go ahead and process them. I'm going to go into my submit order box, and it presents me with a list of the orders that I have now chosen for this particular patient at this time. Here's the Ketorolac, our IV normal saline bolus, our Zofran, and then our IV maintenance fluid. I am happy with all these orders, so I'm going to enter my PIN number for my electronic signature and select Enter. And these orders have now been processed and sent to the appropriate areas so that they can be 